This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com and Power Performance Products, makers of Body Storm and Body Effects. Hey, we're the Tachi Palace Ring Girls. Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com for all of your MMA needs. Spencer Lazara, MMAInterviews.tv, alongside Saad Awad. We're here at Bama USA, Commerce Casino. Georgia Karakani just got a victory over Vincent Ortiz. Pretty elated after that, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. He, he went out there and did his thing, he looked great. He's your teammate at Millennium MMA. You guys are doing awesome things. Every time I go there, I'm, I'm always impressed. Every time I see you guys get down, great coaches. Oh yeah, yeah, there, we have great coaches out there. We have Romeo Aram, Batiste Montori, and there's a lot of up and comers out of there too. We got Daryl fighting pretty soon, defending his belt at Tachi Palace. So a lot of things going on over there. What do you think about the UFC starting a 125 pound division? Are they going to try to snatch them up before this fight happens or what? Oh man, I don't know. I heard it's in the making, but you know, uh, I think they're going to do another Ultimate Fighter house where they can try to build some fighters and then probably go from there. But I mean, there's a lot of little dudes running out there and a lot of 35 pounders that are too small for that weight too. So, Your last fight was awesome in Strike Force, San Diego, Diaz versus Cy uh, Daly down there. That was a really incredible fight, man. I enjoyed every second. Obviously, you popped your hand out of the socket there and kept fighting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happened in the first round. Kind of sucked. You know, um, a lot of props to Joe Duarte. I mean, that kid stand there and gave me a whooping. And then, you know, I went out there, did the best I can. Kind of broke my hand in the first round. Tried to fight to the second, but it was too much pain. Couldn't do it. But you came out swinging bombs. You heard him, though, in the second. Did you gas a little bit, or was it just the hand really bothering you? Uh, I did gas. You know, I, I, I knew that, you know, eventually the hand was going to get to me. So I was like, you know, let me go out there and do as much as I can. And I knew I heard him early in the first and the second round. So I tried to finish him, but wasn't enough. I mean, that kid's a soldier. So are you going to be back? Uh, obviously, you're not training quite yet. You just got your cast off. You mentioned. Tell us about surgery and the process it's been. Oh, I did surgery that same night. They, they put some pins in my hand. I had a cast on for about a month and they took that out and then put another cast for another month. So they just took my cast off about three days ago. So I have another two months of therapy and then start training after there, hopefully, hopefully. And are you still under contract with Strike Force, looking to get another fight in Strike Force? Was that kind of a, a one fight deal? Um, as far as I know, it was a one fight deal, but they told me for me to heal up and then as soon as I heal up, give them a call and then we'll go from there. But contract wise, yeah, it was a one fight deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, appreciate the time, Saad. We look forward to you uh, getting healed up and getting back in the octagon. Godspeed and party on.